it derailed Joe Biden's Middle East visit, it started a raging global debate. The explosion at the hospital in Gaza City on Tuesday night and its bloody aftermath. Tonight, audio and photographic analysis sheds new light on what happened. First, the audio analysis. This comes from a consortium of prominent NGOs specialising in human rights investigations. Earshot investigators have analysed two aspects of the blast which killed so many at the Christian hospital. First, Doppler effect sound analysis of the missile tracking to the hospital that night. It's the uh, compression of sound waves as uh, a moving object is accelerating towards you and that object is emitting sound and uh, then as it's moving away that uh, frequency decreases, that pitch decreases. That analysis produced this mapping. The red line is where the Israelis said the missile was fired from by, they say, Islamic Jihad from within southwestern Gaza. But this new Doppler sound mapping analysis concludes that the missile came from a variety of possible firing points, the blue arrows, all east of the hospital, not west, as the IDF claimed. That map arose from this Doppler mapping of the audio of the missile flying to impact at the hospital. And that sound, recorded by a geolocated eyewitness, 150 metres southeast of the hospital. The second aspect examined is the tape released by the Israeli Defence Forces. The IDF says it is two Hamas operatives discussing how an Islamic Jihad missile fired from in Gaza malfunctioned, causing the hospital explosion. Two nights ago, we reported that Arab-speaking experts raised questions about the tone and language of this tape. The forensic sound analysis states, quote, This recording is made up of two separate channels and demonstrates that these two voices have been recorded independently. These two independent recordings have then been edited together in a digital audio workstation, such as Pro Tools, Logic, Audition have added effects, such as pan control, and recomposed. That being their analysis, what do they then conclude? Though this audio analysis cannot categorically state that the audible dialogue is fake, we can say that the level of manipulation required to edit these two voices together disqualifies it as a source of credible evidence. Earshot's opinion is that this recording does not meet the standard required for evidence and should not be used by the media without the clear caveat that it has been digitally manipulated. We turn now to the image analysis carried out by Forensic Architecture at London University. They've conducted 3D resolution of the impact strike crater and shrapnel splash marks in the hospital car park. Those radial fragmentation marks open towards the southwest with a shallow channel leading to the crater from the northeast. Their conclusion matches the audio analysis of the missile track. They say whatever hit the hospital car park that night was fired from the northeast and not from the southwest of Gaza, as the Israeli Defense Forces claim. We also shared this with an independent weapons and explosives expert that uh, corroborated our understanding of the likely direction as coming from the northeast. They stress this is a preliminary investigation, and they, like many, call for a full inquiry, unlikely in the heat of raging war. Hamas and Islamic Jihad have so far offered little evidence to back their claims that Israel fired the missile at the hospital that night. Islamic Jihad claimed to have a missile fragment, but have not produced it. And the US agrees with Israel's version of events. We've approached the IDF for comment.